Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below. We do a lot of get ready with me's, beauty reviews, lifestyle videos. We have a series where we do five weekly favorites every Friday. So today we're doing a get ready. That's why we're bare faced. We haven't done this in a while. We've had so much going on that we mm -hmm. wanted to catch you guys up on. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I've been loving this stuff. I did an Instagram review. And as always, like if we have a singular review, we'll leave that down below. Um, so that you can see kind of more of like a demonstration and review in one. I like it too. I bought it because we had a really long day last week um and i needed my makeup to last but i think it broke me out which is really weird well i think if it, like there's a common misconception that silicone silicones are comedogenic but yeah they're not comedogenic they just can trap like bacteria in your skin which can lead to breakouts so yeah. i think that's what Terry. happened yeah i don't know what happened but i haven't worn it since but i do like it so i, I liked it enough to keep it oh my god Aww. he's so cute terry's playing with this little triangle toy he's front. trying to carry it like all the way to his little bed because he's so oh determined oh my god ah. you're joking <laughs> he's dropping you it hear? you can hear it it's so heavy. It's, it's made so for a big there's, dog. Yeah, there's like the little triangles for our dogs his size, but now Terry loves the big one. He's just the bravest little guy. He's a big boy. We're he's obsessed. so cute. Anyways, Honestly. so um, we have been absent here, we feel like, and just like absent in general. We've had so much going on. We had this big opportunity with clean coats, and it didn't end up coming to like full fruition. Um, we can't talk about it yet. Um for many reasons, but <laughs> we'll tell you guys eventually. And um, it's one of those things where I feel like as entrepreneurs and like business owners, you, I don't know, it's like you get told no so many times or you have like so many things that fall through and don't end up happening. And you just have to like remind yourself that, I don't know, we're big believers that not only thing ever, not only everything happens for a reason, but that like what's meant for you will happen to you and like what's not meant for you, you know, doesn't happen. And so like when things happen, when things don't work out, like they really are working out, you just can't see it in the moment. And um, I think that we have a lot of peace in knowing that. But if you're an entrepreneur, I think you know how hard it is when you like possibly get like a new opportunity or something happening that's really exciting and then it doesn't work out or like you are told no even though you're like no like I know my brand is great like and I think it's just a reminder to all of us that own businesses that you just have to like steadfast in your just mindset and your belief in your brand and it can be so hard at times and I think we were talking about this but I think for us like we just started clean coats this year um, obviously, but we've had dyads since our candle brand since 2019, August of 2019. So coming up on four years, and I think that, I think because we have two brands that it can get a little like murky, at least in my mind. I don't know if it feels like this, but when we just had this opportunity kind of like fall through, it was like, oh, but then you're like step back and you're like, this, we literally just launched this brand this year. Like it's yeah. so new that there's going to be so many more opportunities. But I think sometimes I get like confused or like <laughs> I get in my head because it feels so much longer, but I think it's just because we have the two brands. I don't really um, get them confused. Yeah, um, yeah I, I feel like I can treat them completely separately, mm -hmm. um, but kind of to piggyback off what Carly was saying, because with this particular opportunity, like we, I guess this is just a good lesson and a reminder to like trust your gut mm -hmm. because, which I like hate that word and that saying, but you, you know what I mean. Trust your intuition, I guess, um, because like immediately, after this day, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, like situation, we knew that it like wasn't a good fit even before they told us <laughs> it wasn't a good fit. Like we left saying like, this is not for us. Um, and it wasn't. And I think that's okay because when you try to like force things because you think that they're like a good opportunity yeah, or like, like another opportunity won't come along so I better take yeah, this. Yeah, or you like, think don't like do it just because you think that there's mm -hmm. no other option. Or you think like, or you feel like guilty like oh other people would die for this opportunity. Yeah. But yeah, like definitely listen to your gut for sure. We made some amazing contacts through this opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, friends even. Yeah. So, 
I think, good, I think good things come out of everything. Yeah. Um, it was, sorry, we were being so cryptic. We'll tell you guys eventually. Yeah. But, um, I, it's just funny that it's just, it's just an interesting, life is an interesting ride. It really is. It is. But anyways, now that this sort of opportunity is done, we have, we're back on our regular schedule program because also right after this happened, we went to New York. Yes. So, the day after. Yeah. We had this like huge opportunity. Then the day after we flew to New York, which we had already had this trip planned to go see Funny Girl. And so it's just been like a whirlwind. It was like prepping, 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 doing this thing, then heading out to New York. Mm -hmm. And like we just got back on Monday. We're filming this on Wednesday. So yeah, we're actually, after this, we're going to film our July favorites because we forgot to film it before we yeah, left. Yeah. And so I'm like, let's try to get it up as soon as possible because it's now, it's August 9th. Yeah. So it's just been like crazy go, go, go. So we're happy to be back and filming and back in our schedule. Like we're really back and we feel after this opportunity that didn't come to fruition we feel even more motivated to work on our brand and we actually just got another opportunity this morning yeah um something that feels good so i feel like it's been um a roller coaster but we're like pedal to the metal now we're working really hard at both of our businesses um this is normally the time of year that dyad does you know like it's like our our time because candles from like september to december we just got these new blushes they just launched today the m cosmetics Pillow Plush Blush. This is the shade Tickled. Are you using a brush? I think I'm gonna try a brush. Okay. Like the one I use for cream products. It's kind of like a like the ColourPop blush. It's how it's like a putty blush. Ooh, that's really pretty. Mm. It is. So do you think dark. I should put it Maybe on after use... powder? I might do okay. it before. We'll but... do both ways. Then you can see. Yeah. Um, but I want to use this blush because they sent them to us, which is really nice. And we love blushes and we love these sort of textures. Yeah. Like, and actually, really excited to try it. Okay. I just want to make a mention. certainly really pretty. It's darker than I thought. This Kozas like foundation is the only foundation I wore in New York. And Same. now I'm convinced this is my longest wearing, best wearing foundation. There's nothing. I know we love Neutrogena Hydro Boost Skin Tint forever and always. But this one holds up. It doesn't like break up yeah. weird on your face. And I wore it, yeah, all day long in like the New York heat and on that long day we had and it's so good so if you mm -hmm. haven't tried this I think it's way better than the concealer and the concealer gets like all the credit which I don't get and then another thing I I really I, like this but it's very pigmented I feel like oh. you're gonna have to like go in okay I'm gonna use my regular powder brush and try um I have been on the elf contour wand like kick and I'm almost out of it that's how much I use it and I feel like I just bought it so I'm back on this Rose Ink Cream Bronzer, and I forget how good this formula is. I just wish they would expand the shade range. Hopefully, like, next year or sometime soon they will do that because this is too warm for me. But it just applies so good. It's such a good formula. This is really pretty, and this is the shade I didn't mention, Tickled. Um, and there's that there's shade two too. shades, Tickled and Peanut. They both look really... Actually, Peanut looks really pretty, um, so I'm excited to use that shade, too. Really beautiful texture. I'm gonna try to powder and then put it over top of powder. So we'll I mean, see. I could probably add a little bit more, but I just wanna leave it there. I don't know why, I'm feeling like a natural cheek today. Um, so yeah, New York, we can talk about our trip. And I was gonna talk about 40 boxes. Oh yeah, okay. So we recently were on a couple of powder brush. Good Morning America, they have like their deals and steals or steals and deals. I don't, I get them so confused. Um, program where they do, they like feature different businesses and then they have like a sale. Um, for a week or so, uh, but they also have like a coordinating website called 40 Boxes where they do more sales that they promote like through their mm -hmm. newsletter uh, and they work with like 40 Boxes ads. and I we they own 40 Boxes. I don't really know how it works. Oh, maybe. So we recently had an opportunity for Dyad to be featured on 40 Boxes and it was really great for our business and to yeah. like get new customer base. We just did the perfumes and the perfume, perfume oils. oils because um, you have to cover shipping as a brand, and we could not do that with the candles. We already lose so much money on shipping, you guys would be appalled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because they're heavy. Um, so um, we just did the perfumes and the perfume oils, but yeah, it went really well. And we even, or were you gonna, you can go on. Oh, I was just going to say that it was a good lesson for us that like if you don't ask like I always loved this phrase like if you don't ask the answer always, always no. no because we 
we love Good Morning America. Like, since we were children, we watched the show. We love all of them. Like, it's just the best. We've talked about this before. It's like, what's yeah. the reason we went to journalism school? Yeah. Like, we, we had dreams of being on it. Loved that show. And we knew that, like, you know, the brands they feature on Steals and Deals is mostly, like, like Mara has been on there, Summer Fridays, so, like, bigger, well-known brands. Um, Kristen Calary's brand. Yeah, but I was like, well, we should just find a producer contact and reach out because you never know. Um, and we were in this Facebook group for, like, PR jobs because back when we first moved to L.A., we had done some hosting for a PR company and I think that's when we joined. I think we did like writing for them too. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we had like joined the Facebook group through them and just never like unjoined. And so I searched in that group for like these producer contacts and somebody had them. And so we've reached out and they were like, oh, it's not a good fit right now for steals and deals, but like I'll connect you with our sister company, 40 Boxes. And so it's like we would have never reached out, like we would have never gotten the opportunity. So this yeah. is just your reminder to always just ask. Yeah. It was really great. We sold a decent amount, and I think the best part was that we saw people because the promo goes on for two weeks, and we didn't advertise it because we, um, well, number one, the whole point is to get like new, new customers, customers. Yeah. and we, um, I think, I guess we could have advertised it, but we didn't want it to like, I don't know, get confusing with like our website. Um, but we saw people, so the promo went for two weeks, and we saw people that had ordered early on in the sale that place another order after yeah. they got their order mostly for like highs and lows mostly for highs and lows yeah i think that was the only one yeah and we were like of course because it's our best-selling fragrance we think it's incredible yeah and it was just super validating that these people and it wasn't we only did 20 percent off actually mm -hmm. if you are a consumer. What can be done on our website. Yeah, before. you should go to 40 boxes though, because most a lot of brands do like 30 to 50% off. Um okay, this is really pretty. And it's working yeah, with it's my normal pretty. powder brush. I use my powder brush after too. Um so go on there and check out what brands are on there because there's actually really good brands. So like yeah, like a, our friend Delilah had texted us because she's like, Oh, I see Dyad on 40 boxes, and she was on there to look for like bridesmaids gifts mm -hmm. for her like bridesmaids boxes. So it seems like it is a website that people utilize. Yeah, there's good brands, but um, yeah, so we only did 20%, but it was like, so the people that had purchased, especially the perfumes, oops, I don't know what this is on my, I think it's, um, you know, it wasn't like cheap, cheap, and so to see them like repurchasing more was really great. It was like really validating. Yeah, and that was a big win. Yeah, like I said, I think this whole video is gonna be like about our New York trip and our brands, um, but, this is like kind of the time of year that Dyad starts to pick up. It's really exciting for us. We're really, we are, we have to get this fall candle out. Yeah. We well, love it. It's just that we're trying to figure out the hot throw. Um, but we were actually, like usually when you work with a fragrance house, you work with like their salesperson um, that's assigned to your brand, your company. And then they are kind of like the liaison between you and the actual perfumer. Um, unless you're like a big brand, then usually they have, they're connected to the actual perfumer, which is like the goal because you want to be able to like give them your feedback directly because sometimes I think things can get lost. Yeah. Um, and so for this one, we were actually connected to the perfumer working on this project and it's been great. Like we were able to do a few rounds really quickly because he like understood what we wanted and he did some like internal tests for us. Which yeah. Is really great. Really awesome. So I feel like that has really helped to make us move faster because we were like committed this year. We're like, we can't like get in our own head about these things and like not launch things because they're not perfect. And we really wanted, we had two fragrances that were like basically ready to go but needed some tweaking. Then we were like, oh, they kind of like, we can't launch two fall scents and one isn't really fall and it's more it just like didn't feel fresh. Right. So yeah. we're like, let's just focus on like a seasonal fall scent. We've never done that. Um, and like, we're very close. We, like Britta said, we just want it to be perform hot throw wise, mm -hmm. but we will get it out for fall. Yeah. So, so we're, excited about, we're really we excited about, oh yeah, we do need a name. Um, we're really excited about like what's to come for a dyad. And like I said, 
the opportunity with clean coats and to get such a cool opportunity so early on in our business is like great and it is really motivating and like I said we got another call about something today so we just kind of like keep with it and, it's and definitely during this opportunity the first thing they said about our branding was that it was super chic mm -hmm. um and that's like all we ever want to hear yeah so. but yeah so it's been a roller coaster of a few weeks but we are so excited just to like pedal to the metal for now until the end of the year on both brands because it's just what we need to do. I think this year has been gone too fast. It like literally yeah. flew by and we need to hustle. Yeah, we got to get our head in the game, mm -hmm. back in the game. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so we went to New York, which was really incredible. We went to see Funny Girl. We had... We had to cancel this trip once previously because of my health issues. And well, technically we canceled twice because yeah. we originally planned to go for our 31st birthday. Oh yeah, that's true. In January of 2022. And there that's were, you right. know, things were still looking pretty really crazy. Bleak. That's right. So we were like, oh, let's <clears throat> cancel it. Yeah. And then we were going to go in November, had to cancel. So. This trip was, it meant so much, I, mean, I don't want to like cry, but it meant a lot to like me, to like be feeling better, to being able to go, to having that cool opportunity right before we left. It was just like, I don't know, it felt like coming, the light at the end of the tunnel, if you will. And the trip was really incredible. We, I, I'm like so out of shape. We walked like 20,000 steps every day and I was like, I'm not built for this. I, I felt so tired, but we all kind of felt tired. But besides that, the weather was literally amazing. The last time I was in New York was September of 2019. It was for work. So I had like like pants and boots on. Like it was a work thing. So I didn't want to dress in like shorts. And I remember being so hot, so humid. I felt disgusting. I didn't even want to be outside. It was awful. And that was in September. So I was like, oh my God, we've never been in the summer. This is going to be not good but I'm so excited like let's make the best of it and we just totally lucked out like it was supposed to rain a few days it literally rained for like five minutes that's it well and then it rained it got gloomy the last day like while we were leaving so we're yeah like, we'll see, see you later like, yeah and it was we're out of here not humid like it was barely humid which was crazy like New York in the summer is supposed to be so humid was so nice it i think it got humid right literally right after we left like yeah. right after the rain came in so we just really lucked out um, funny girl was amazing yeah we went to see funny girl leah michelle was incredible it was also great because we went with our boyfriends and the four of us don't get to do trips very often like with all of our schedules and the four of us hadn't taken a trip to new york since 2017 which we didn't realize until we got there we were like it's been six years and like, we went then to see anastasia on broadway mm -hmm. and the guy that played glenn well yeah but in funny girl oh nick nick and funny girl so obviously leah michelle like a star gleb and anastasia and we mm -hmm. loved him so we were like really excited to see him yeah it felt like meant to be that the last time we were all there to see a show we saw him and then now again and yeah it was literally everything we dreamed of funny girl was so amazing <clears throat> um and then what else we just ate a lot yeah we ate at a lot of places we wanted to eat at like emily burger we, for you arm cherries mm -hmm. we went to the um harry potter like experience store yes that was, it was awesome. on our list we, but did, we didn't yeah. like prioritize it and then we passed it while we were walking like to the west village and we we're like hey let's stop like this is on our list and yeah. it was so cool if you like harry so potter cool. like go we are like broke so we didn't spend yeah. money there but there was many things we would have bought like there was this really cool long sleeve t-shirt that sounds lame but it was so cool the wands were amazing but we spent a lot of time in there just walking around looking taking photos and then just like we have Levain's like normal now we have one in LA but I tried to go and it was so busy um and you know it's nice to go to the original location there's a lot of places we didn't get to go to that were on our list but that's okay we don't want to like force it when we're on vacation we just want to like yeah and we did mention this on our stories um and I know this is like a huge generalization but we realized that the service in New York is just like 
we rarely got good service anywhere we went. Everyone was just kind of like very short and it a little was bit really rude. crazy. And we're just not used to that. And I know that like there are restaurants here where I'm sure people experience that type of behavior as well. So I'm not saying like all of Los Angeles has better service than all of New York, but we were just like a little bit shocked at that. And so that took us by surprise and kind of not ruined the dining experience, but made us not want to go back to some places. Someone said it was an East Coast thing, and I think that's true. I don't think it's just New York because when my boyfriend and I were in Boston for Christmas, I like really put this on sloppily, but it's the Black Cherry Clinique lip gloss. It's so pretty. Um, we, when we came home from that trip, we were like, what was up with the service? Like. It wasn't just like lack of service, just like people being kind of rude. And it was just really surprising, um, especially because we stayed in like the suburbs of Boston and we did go into the city, but it was just very weird. Like again, Britta said, we're not really used to it. I think a lot of, I'm sure people are like, oh, I've met really nasty people in LA. Like yeah. I'm sure people just think that we're just, we are generalizing, but um, I think people have like a more sunny disposition here, if that makes sense. So it was yeah, really surprising, but we, what was that little cocktail bar we went to? Because I want to tell everyone about it because it was so cute. The Italian one or the? Due West. Due West, yeah. We went to Due West after dinner because our dinner experience was like awful. The food was good, but everything Real else quick, was so I bad. I never wear this, the Moira mm -hmm. Lucent Cream Shadow in the shade Jupiter, and this formula is so much better than the Shadow Pots. Yeah, I have the Shadow it's Pots, like a, and it gets glitter like everywhere. It's like cream. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to order more of these, I think. Yeah, that's pretty. Um... We, we had a Rosemary's, and not to put them on blast, but the food was really good, but it was packed inside. So, um, I, yeah, I guess I was, I don't want to be negative, but Rosemary's, it was so loud in there, and we, like, couldn't hear each other. They took forever to take an order, forever to give us our everything. It just was not the best experience, but the food was good. Yeah. So then we went to that little cocktail bar, Due West, yeah, after. Yeah, we were just looking for some place to go. In and the West Village. Good reviews we could walk there and it and was so cute it was really cute the drinks were good and our server was cute and nice. she was great yeah yeah and um there was just a table of like really young people next to us and we were just laughing the whole time but we felt really old yeah and they were like really like this cute like gossip girl-esque group yeah like 21 22 like yeah. really young no they said 22 23 okay. but there was one 26 year old oh right um so yeah it was just that was really fun and that was a really fun night um, but the whole trip was really great, and do you want to talk about Terry and Luna? Yeah, I was just going to say, um, we, like Carly said, the four of us don't really go on trips all that often together, um, and so we usually have, you know, someone will be here to watch the dogs, and I know we've talked about this before, but they're both rescues, and Terry is actually really good with people, he just doesn't really like other dogs, and Luna doesn't like dogs or people. And so we were really nervous. Tommy is a brother and his sister-in-law watch Terry and Luna. And they obviously, like, they live in L.A. They've been over here so many times. They are, like, Terry and Luna are very familiar with them. Mm -hmm. But even so, like, and I, I should say Terry loves them. But we were so worried about Luna. Um, but we were bringing them over to their place. And Luna just gets, like, super territorial at her house, like most dogs. So I had a good feeling. I was like, I think it's going to be better. Like, she's going to be in a different environment. She's going to be, like, a better listener. And they said that she was a sweet angel. She did, like, bite them once, like, mm -hmm. when they were trying to, like, wipe her paws. But She does that to us, too. Yeah, she does that to us, too. Um, and aside from that, they said that after, like, a couple nights, she ended up sleeping in the bed with them. And, and like, was, she like, let her, Yeah, she let them touch her. Because like, this is, like, shocking. Like, ask yeah. any of our friends... Who have met her a million times like she does not let anyone touch her like yeah. she will grow. except for tommy's mom she loves tommy's yeah, that's mom. true it's the craziest thing yeah um she doesn't actually bite rarely yeah. but she will grow and like warn you so it's just like we were so proud that she was coming around and also right in the midst of all this chaos right before we left for the trip we also took her on her vet appointment yeah and she was also such a good girl there like the front desk girl said that she let her touch her paws and the um like vet tech carried her out and she was like she was great i didn't have to do anything and we i was like almost in tears because when we first got luna she needed a muzzle at the vet every single time like yeah. 
there was no like no chance no one was taking a chance like she was pretty vicious and so just to see her like she didn't bite anyone at the vet but it was so weird because because of that we would get their haircuts at the vet they wouldn't like style them but they would cut their hair there was this vet tech named Arlene that would cut Lena's hair and like she didn't have to muzzle her or anything and we still don't know how she was able to do that yeah really crazy because she's Luna always bites the groomer yeah she does still bite the groomer they don't muzzle her though but she yeah. has like calmed down so much um and so it was really amazing that she like had two back-to-back -back experiences showing so much growth and got like the tiniest amount of strip down left and now i used my victoria beckham o2 and i bought a backup so long ago and it's still going Hmm. Yeah, I have that one that I'm, I'm I should maybe stop soon. Then I'm using the Lisa Aldridge liquid lipstick. I was gonna use that too, but I didn't. In Fawn, it's really did good. a review on this as well. Really love it. Really love the color. It's not like really exactly. Uh, actually, oh, it's not just stripped down. Velvet Bloom. Well, I guess we're filming our July favorites. I put it mm -hmm. in my favorites. Because it's so good. I wore it so many times this month. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get Ready With Us. Um, hopefully it was enjoyable. I know we kind of just chatted a lot. As always, we'll have everything linked down below that we used on our face. We'll answer any questions. If you have any questions on the products, because we didn't really touch on them. Yeah.